Hello and welcome. I'm extremely excited for you because you're going to learn the entire fretboard, every single note on the fretboard in just a couple minutes. Are you excited? I am. Let's dig in. Okay, so everyone's going to tell you to start learning your fretboard on the sixth string, the thickest string. And that to me makes no sense because the sixth string starts with an E note. And that's not where the musical alphabet starts. The musical alphabet starts with A. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah. And then it goes to B, and then to C, and then to D, and then to E, F, G. Same as the normal alphabet, right? So luckily for us, there is a string that starts with A. And it's this one over here, this fifth string. So we've got open, we've got an A note right there. Now, the cool thing about guitar, you'll see I've got um, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, right? So guitar can be divided into three pairs of strings, okay? Whatever happens on the thickest pair is going to repeat itself on the middle pair of strings and is going to repeat itself on the thinnest pair of strings, only frets apart. So if I find two notes on the sixth and the fifth string, they're going to repeat themselves two frets from there on the middle strings. And then they were going to repeat themselves three frets from there on the thinnest strings. So it's two frets to the middle pair and three frets to the thinnest pair. Hopefully that's clear. Okay, so why did I color uh, orange and yellow, orange and yellow, orange and yellow? Because I want you to distinguish the thickest string from the thinnest string of each pair of strings. Okay, so I found that note, that A note. I know that's an A note. Now I want to find it on the middle pair of strings. What string am I? The yellow one, right? So I'm just going to bounce two frets. One, two, and that over there is going to be an A note two. Simple, right? Now to bounce to the thinnest pair of strings, remember it's three, okay? So I'm going to go one, two, three, yellow or orange string? Yellow, okay. So now I know all my A notes on three strings. Simple as that. Now what's cool about guitar is that this string, the thinnest string and the thickest string, you probably know that by tuning your guitar, both are the same note. They hold the same note, only octaves apart, right? So this is E and this is E. So now if I know this note, this note is going to be exactly the same as this note. See where I'm headed? Cool. Awesome. So now I'm on the orange strings. Okay, so to find that note on the middle pair of strings, I bounce two frets. One, two, what string? Orange or yellow? Orange, right? There we go, that's an A note two. Woohoo! Okay, now we're gonna find it on the thinnest pair of strings. Remember to bounce from the middle pair of strings to the thinnest pair of strings. We go three frets, one, two, three. Orange or yellow string? Orange again. And just like that, you found all the A notes on the entire fretboard. Isn't that cool? Look how simple it seems once you can see it laid out like that. And now you're thinking, yeah, then, but you started with the easy note, the A note. What if I find a note here? How do I know what note is that? Okay, let's do it. Let's pick any random note, this one over here, okay? Now, where, which pair of strings are you at? On the thinnest pair of strings, right? To find that note on the middle pair of strings, you bounce three frets. One, two, three, orange or yellow string? Orange, right? Right here. Okay, so now you find found that note. You don't even know what note it is yet. Don't worry. So to now you're in the middle pair of strings. To bounce to the thickest pair of strings, how many frets? Two, right? One, two, orange or yellow string? Orange. Cool. Awesome. Now, if you know your, your, your E string, you've got it. But if you don't know it, you've got to go to your A string, right? That's the one we started with. So that string over here and this string over here hold the same note. So I can just bounce that note over here. Cool, awesome. Now to go from the thinnest pair of strings to the middle pair of strings, how many frets? One, two, three, open. Yellow, 
or orange. Yellow, right? Now you know that note on five strings. You're missing this string over here, that yellow string over here, the fifth string. Now what do we do? We, do, we can't continue that way, right? So the 12th fret is the zero fret, the open strings is the same as the 12th fret. So I'm just gonna place that one here. Now I can bounce again here. Check it out. Middle pair of strings to find that same note on the thickest pair of strings, how many frets? Whoops. Whew. Two, right? One, two. Yellow or orange string? Yellow, right? Awesome. Now I know that note on all my strings. I just found it that easy. Now, your next logical question is how do I know which note is that? Well, to that, the only solution is to memorize your A string. It's easy because it starts with A. It doesn't start with E, right? So the first note is gonna be in A. So then we've got B over here, we've got C over here, and I'll, I'll explain why. D, E, F, G, and we've got A over here again, okay? Now you'll see that there's, from B to C, there's only one fret and from e to f there's only one fret but from a to b there's two and from g to a there's two it's just the way it is okay you gotta accept it they could have called them a b c d e f g e right the entire alphabet but they didn't so now we've got this to it is the way it is so from a to b there's always two frets and the one in the middle can either be called a sharp or B flat. Sharp means that you go one fret higher in pitch from the note you were calling that, and flat means you go one fret lower in pitch. It is what it is. Now, I like sharp, so I'm just gonna call that sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp and there you have the 12 notes of the musical alphabet now let's compare what note was that i go here it's on the 10th fret that's a g note pretty easy right now if you want more logical explanations there's 30 pages in here that you can download for free with diagrams videos great resource I've got, I think, more than 70,000 downloads on this thing. So yeah, if you want music theory tips and tricks without theory words, go and grab a copy. It's for free, and I'll see you inside.